live from my mom's kitchen. It's Saturday night. I mean, Ryan's Pop Tarts review. Yay. Okay, um, hmm. I've got to seem a little bit flustered tonight because I've been coerced into doing this in front of a live studio audience. Uh, which I'm not used to because I have terrible stage fright. And they're all staring at me and judging. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, different location, different scenario, because we have a bit of a different Pop-Tart today. Um, they're actually homemade Pop-Tarts, um, apparently from a YouTube video or something. I don't know. My mom's friend made them, so now we're doing this. Hey, um... Don't come in a foil wrapper, number one. And uh, this one also has words on it. It says, green blob, blue blob. <laughs> I think it's supposed to say happy birthday, Ryan, because my birthday is in a few days. Um, but who knows, really? So, got some stuff on me. They're um, flaky looking and puffy with some pink icing and purple sprinkles and questionable jam in the middle. No, this... I don't think this is going to work. No. No. These Pop-Tarts are not going to be toasted. So, I guess all that's left is to dig in. Good um, pastry thing. It's definitely not a pop tart because it's got too much flavor. But I bet that's probably a pro, really. <clears throat> uh, the icing is very sweet, good. Jam is a little understated, but nice. And uh, yeah. nice flaky crust. I gotta say, I like it. I can't really tell you to buy it because it's not available. But you could search up a video on how to make homemade Pop-Tarts and make them yourself if you like. So, recommend buy ingredients? Maybe? Apparently there's other kind of jams in the other ones, but... Um... I'm on the verge of an anxiety attack here, so I th think that's going to be it for this review. It's a little short and a little different than usual, and I'm sweating like a pig. So, so that's that's the end of this. Um, good win. Yes, Pop-Tarts. <laughs> oh, dear. It's time for me to go.